Now let us move on to the discussion on strings or texts. So we first created a string value that we assigned to our first variable or the first variable that we created earlier. So generally strings can have double quotation marks or single quotation marks. This is a general case in all the programming languages when we want to create a value that is a string and we want to store it inside a variable. Now strings generally uh, in JavaScript they are not generally regarded um, strictly in the sense that if we want to use a single quotation mark inside this double quotation mark we can do that but both the quotation marks at the ends at both the ends must meet each other I mean meet what they were like suppose if we use the double quotation marks at the front then we need to use this uh, double quotation marks at a uh, double quotation mark at the end we can't just write a single quotation mark like uh, like this and we keep the double quotation mark here because this may cause an error lately because if you look carefully this uh, the JavaScript compiler has actually changed the color and it's reading that it has not ended the sentence or this uh, semicolon this semicolon is actually included inside this string literal so this causes an error inside our browser that's why we need to include uh, we need to include double quotation marks at the bo at both the ends and what happens if we want to use an apostrophe or something uh, like um, we want to create uh, store a value a string value that is a uh, direct speech in English so what we do is that uh, let us change this text and let us write something like uh, Tom said that or Tom said this is a string so if we carefully read this sentence if we carefully read this text that then we can see that we are actually using both the uh, we are actually enclosing the string with the double quotation marks and we are uh, including the single quotation marks inside this value so what JavaScript does it looks in uh, it looks at the double quotation marks and it literally prints the entire thing so let's have a look let us pass this first variable that we created in our alert function and let's see what happens let's save this and let's open the first code.html remember to always open your html when you are testing on your browsers so we can clearly see that this browser has printed the JavaScript alert function has printed uh, the uh, string literal literally so we passed in the single quotation mark inside uh, inside this uh, string literal and this browser is actually taking the entire value and reading it literally and uh, producing the value literally on the alert box so this is what happens now there is another way to do this same thing uh, using the es escape sequences that we know as uh, uh, se uh, sequences that are special characters inside uh, every programming language so this is no different in JavaScript so what so what happens if we want to use uh, single quotation marks to enclose our string suppose we enclose it with single quotation marks so now this is actually quite confusing for the compiler so what it reads is that it first checks the uh, first quotation mark and then it also sees another single quotation mark so it sees that this is actually enclosed within this is one string but then it doesn't know what to do with this uh, literal value which is neither a string nor a number it doesn't contain inside any of the data types any of the primitive data types so 
it ignores it but it really can't ignore it because there's nothing adding this to uh, adding this to this string literal then again it also finds that there is another string literal starting with a single quotation mark and it holds nothing inside it and it ends with a single quotation mark and the statement ends so what happens in this case let us have a look let's save this and let us see what happens so what we really see is that an error occurred but because JavaScript ignores the error and it keeps on producing the script it actually ignored the header part it uh, ignored this head part and it moved on to the body part so what happened in here is that the compiler couldn't really understand what we are referring to so in this case what we need to do is to escape the strings that are included inside and when we escape the strings this tells the browser that you should read these strings inside the text literally so how to do it we need to add uh, forward slashes like uh, like this so when we add forward slashes you can clearly see that the color changes and now the compiler can clearly understand what we are referring to so now let's save this and after I come back I'll explain what happens so let's open up this inside our browser and now we can clearly see that the compiler understands what the programmer is trying to do and he and, and the compiler uh, actually produces this on the alert box so our code is running successfully now what we have done in here is we have just used an escape sequence there are quite a number of them there are quite a number of escape sequences in JavaScript especially in all other programming languages if you're new to programming then the then the first programming language that you learn you should learn it uh, very thoroughly because one programming language can when you learn one programming language the other programming languages that you learn later will become easier for you because the fundamentals are quite uh, quite similar except that they differ syntactically now we were talking about the escape sequences so when we talk about escape sequences there are especially one two three four five of them so we looked at one of them so we looked at the single quote uh, escape sequence uh, sequence then there is this double quote escape sequence then the tab escape sequence then the new line escape sequence then we have the backslash uh, backslash escape sequences so what they do is that if they're not uh, literal strings they're not referred to as strings inside uh, the compiler so what when we include this when when we have included this inside our uh, text or inside our string this told the compiler that you must not uh, you must not read it as a programming syntax you must read it literally as a human language so you must keep that here uh, as intact as possible you must not do anything or change anything to it so so the compiler understands that the programmer wants this uh, codes to be printed literally on the alert box the same thing the same thing happens with this double quotation uh, escape sequences so if we include the double quotation escape sequence here like this uh, if we write it like this if we write it like this so what the compiler will understand that we want to include this double quotation marks on our alert box or we want to show it on our browser so it will go on and print both of these quotation marks and leave behind this single quotation marks because this tells the compiler the starting and the ending part of a text 
Now when we include all of this, this escape sequences tell the compiler that a tab uh, space uh, four uh, four spaces must be left out when this tab escape sequences is uh, mentioned inside the string. If we mention this new line escape sequence, then this uh, the text that is coming after this new line escape sequence will have to be printed on a new line on the browser. And this backslash, this double slashes that we tell uh, that we uh, that we are looking into here is telling the compiler that you must include this backslash inside the string so when the compiler meets something like this forward slash it's going to understand that we are we want to include an escape sequence that uh, escape sequence inside our string or inside the value the string value that we are assigning it into a variable now let's move on to the next part of our discussion and we will see how to concatenate or add two strings and how they're immutable in our computer's memory.